So I'm sitting here with Bob Muehlbach, a 2018 Hall of Fame inductee. Bob, you live in what town now? Lincoln, Nebraska. And what was the card number you always ran? 88. And why'd you pick 88? Because they put a zero in the middle, so it spells Bob. <laughs> there you go. So what was the first car you ran? My first car would have been, I'm going to say about a 72 Ford station wagon. Piece of junk. But yeah. it was something to get started on. And what was your first derby? Nebraska State Fair. Nebraska State Fair? <laughs> what, what year was that, do you remember? I have. A long time ago. So yeah, so you ran, you, I mean, you used to run a lot of Fords, a lot of Mopar wagons, didn't you? Yep, I'm still run the Mopar wagons. Um, I'll take the Ford bumpers, but I'll address the Ford, but you, part of the game. Do, do you still derby? I haven't derbied for seven, eight years now, so due to health injuries and stuff, I'm going to try and get it back into it this year, but I don't know if I'm going you know, to be allowed to do it. But it was health reasons that took me out of the game. I hear you. And age. Age, family, kids, yeah. married, business. Working. We can keep going on that oh, list, yeah. but so, so what were your what were your greatest uh, sports of or, or, or what were you greatest say, your, accomplishments? Your, yeah, greatest accomplishments or memories of your derby career. Oh, I don't know. There was anything that really stood out. It was just a matter over the years meeting people, um, just getting to know people and having fun. And the whole thing is you get into it for fun. I mean, you, you enjoy it. You, if you didn't enjoy it, you wouldn't do it. So as a matter, you enjoyed going back and seeing people you haven't seen before. You know, just single show wise, I don't think there was any great accomplishment. You know, it was just you know after enough trophies, there's just another trophy on the shelf. So that kind of was a big deal there. Yeah, I hear you. So, so what, 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 what kind of advice would you give to somebody that's wanting to come into the sport, or somebody's thinking, been thinking about doing it, or just kind of needs help, or? What, what, what kind of advice would you give to a, a new kid right now? Uh, don't be afraid to ask questions. Look up to the other people that have done it for years. Most demo guys are more than willing to help the younger crowds get into it. You know, teach you, help you learn. What, 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 I don't know. We want you to do this sport because it's kind of a dying sport. We want you to stay in it. Um, we don't want it to go away. Um, I don't know what else. What um, so, I'm gonna run out of words here. <laughs> so, so, so Bob says he's gonna buy cars, help the kid build it, pay for everything. So there you go. If you want to build a car, talk to. I Bob. have done everything <laughs> except pay for. It. I've paid for a lot, but um, but if, if if there's if there's a young kid that wants to come out and try it and stuff, you know most you know good you know find some sponsors. Sponsors are kind of easy if you just go out and talk to people. People are willing to help a young child or younger younger person get into this and stay into the game, you know, and do things because it helps the overall community and stuff. It does. Um, just you know, don't be afraid to ask. You know, ask for help. I I learned the very hard way because I actually went against Bamathe, Monty Stav, and Scott Drought. State Fair. They taught me what an Imperial was. I had a Ford station wagon. I had a piece of iron when I left State Fair. I didn't have a wagon or anything anymore. I didn't even know it was a car. They still had Imperials when they went home. At that point, I knew to go ask them, what were they doing, what did they build, how did they do it? And they became good friends, you know. They, over the years, helped out a lot. Yep, I hear you there. So, who would you like to thank, you know, for getting you where you're at in your derby career? For getting me where I'm at in my derby career? This is where you, like, thank your wife and stuff? Um... <laughs> I would, I would kind of like the ones I just mentioned, Monty Stava, which is not longer with us, Scott Grob, um, Dave, Big Dave, I can't remember Big Dave's last name. Ryan, Ryan. Ryan. Um, just kind of some family that introduced me to it, but a lot of it was just going out and having fun and just go out and meet people. Just don't be afraid to step up and ask questions. Very, very rarely will somebody turn you away and say, get out of here. If they do, then you don't really need to associate with their people anyway. But almost everybody in the Derby figure eight crowd says, yeah, come in, we'll help you. We'll, you know, if you're younger, we'll teach you, we'll show you. You know, we want you. We want you to have fun. And there you go. Bob always has that fun. And then that's why we're excited to have him in the 2018 Hall of Fame. So congratulations and welcome well, to the Hall of Fame. Well, thank you.